Harpo, who this woman? Savannah. I'm coming home. Savannah. What it do, what it do, back again coming through, who that is, that ain't nobody but your good friend Sumi Su coming through about the booty do. So as you can tell, we're starting off with the hair. This is by Reshine, this is their kinky curly bob, she is 12 inches and 180% density and she is a beauty. Anyways, I had an idea to chop her up and make her short, listen. You watching me section off this and all that, but let me tell you, because I know the outcome of this already, I'm literally sitting here like, do I need to cut my hair because this came out so pretty? I thought it was so bomb. Anyways, I'm going to section off the top, and I'm going to leave that for when I put it on my head. That way I can have that to kind of frame and know how I need to cut it. So for the most part, the back part is going to be the tough part for me. So I'm going to be doing that on the mannequin because it would be a lot easier for me to cut. You guys already know how this thing go, okay? So I'm just going to spritz her down and all of that good stuff. And, you know, we're going to chop her up. We're going to layer her out and give her a nice little V-shape in the back. And then we're going to go in and frame the rest around my face. So, yeah, that's the reason for sectioning off the top part. Anyways, this is my second time to work with Reshine. They have some really, really bomb hair. So for all the information on this unit, make sure you check out the description box. Everything will be down there for you. You guys already know if it ain't good hair. <laughs> It ain't gonna make it on here. Now, I'm not gonna talk too much during this section because, you know, it's pretty much self-explanatory. I'm just giving myself some layers, cutting some vibes, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just speed this section up and let's move on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so, let's get into styling her. I'm excited to see what is going to happen today <laughs> with this, um... Yeah, I don't think I've ever done any hair like this. I've never worn any hair like this So it should be fun to see what we come up with So I still have a lot of styling to do but for the most part I kind of just want to put it on and stick it down and Keep it moving. Okay, so first I need to measure the air tabs to see if they fit. I already cut the back lace and As you can see this is the inside of the cap So let's go ahead and see what we're working with here. I feel like I might have to change my actual cap, but back here is looking pretty good already. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> it looks good already. We're gonna have some fun with this unit. Let me drop it low a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna change the bottom of my cap, but first I need to go in and measure my ear tabs. Okay, so to stick this down, I'm going to be using my Goss to Be because, you know, she, she never fails. Uh, tons of you have been asking me to try the new one with the purple bottle. I have been searching for it. What's it called? Insta Hold. I have been searching for it high and low. I can't find it anywhere online to ship it in here. So, uh, we just gonna have to work with the old stuff until we get the new stuff, okay? This stuff's still good. So we're just gonna be using this today to do everything. I need to wipe up my forehead, hold on. I'm excited, it's gonna be cute. Ooh. So I'm just using my Seabreeze, my trusty Seabreeze to do this, just to wipe up around my perimeter and remove any oils because I do have on my face moisturizer so we need to get rid of that. So on the inside of this cap I already have my little concoction spray in there to kind of hide the knots because I'm just over bleaching the knots right now. Okay we just okay like who has time for that all the time? We don't. Let's go and do this. Get that blow dryer and I'm just gonna speed up this process because you guys have seen me do this a million times and it's so self-explanatory. It's better for you to watch than me to try and explain anything, okay? So let's go. fun with this so I'm gonna do side by side like I said I wanted to leave this so I can know how to frame my face <laughs> I'm nervous and excited at the same time okay no turning back now no turning back now I'm trying not to wet the lace so you want to be careful with that Bruno, is that you? <laughs> okay, so I think from here, 
the main thing to do to get it to look good is to just wet it and play with it. Shot me through the heart, casting dice and roulettes. The game was set right from the start. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna know, I don't wanna hear anymore. I don't wanna go, don't wanna know, but I keep coming back for more. Crush it down and that is it for this portion of the video. I'm really excited to see how we are going to look. <laughs> with our short curly hair. So let's get into the makeup portion, the portion that I know most of you are waiting on. So yeah, let's zoom in so we can get within. Okay, so today's video is going to be dedicated to black owned makeup brands, but I'm gonna have to cheat here and there because there's a lot of things that I don't have that are black owned. So you guys are gonna have to forgive me. I'm gonna try my best and just use pure black owned products, but there are some stuff like moisturizer. I don't have a black owned moisturizer I don't have a black owned lashes you know little stuff like that and some brushes so if you can just forgive that you still get the point of the video okay so all the makeup that I am using though is definitely black owned so just those little shortcuts here and there you get what I'm saying so um yeah and some stuff like I need my little you know my little glue for my stuff like that okay so first things first we're gonna do our brows okay so let's let me go ahead and get into that. Okay, girl, here I go, ready to start this video and I haven't even done my five shout outs yet. Like, that's what I'm talking about. I, I literally looked up at the whiteboard. <laughs> Listen, you guys have to, I still need to get, you know, it's, it's something new that I'm incorporating, so I'm still not even used to it yet. Okay, so on my last video, we have Cloud Nine Crafts by Jada C. Girl, that is a long name. Hey, love. Okay, then we got Lynn's Journey. Welcome back. We got Latasha Messer. Welcome, welcome. We got mm, Cookies <laughs> 23 and Fabulously Jai. I'm going to say Jai. I feel like that says Jai or G. I don't know. To the five of you, thank you for making it here first on my last video. So let's get into this video. Okay, so for my brows, I don't even have my hand mirror. Okay, for my brows, um, as usual, I have to do this step. At least give me this, okay? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is not a black owned brand, but <laughs> let's just ignore this, okay? But I figure I would show you this as well because as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and do this part off camera. And then we come on back with the actual eye product. How about that? And if there's anything that I say in this video that is not quite black owned, please forgive me, okay? I got to use what I got, honey. And <laughs> that's just the way it is. Okay, so to fill in my brows, I'm gonna be using Sleek Makeup's Brow Duo or Brow Kit, and this one is in extra dark. And it's basically a pomade and a powder. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go in and give ourselves some like hair-like type of strokes, type of vibe. We're gonna try and keep it soft. And uh, majority of the brushes that I'm gonna be using are from Juvia's Place, so um, they're in there, okay? So uh, yeah, let's go in and do that. I'm gonna be dipping into the pomade side first, and we're gonna create like little hair strokes, like just trying to fill in where is sparse basically not the whole entire brow i'm going for a really bushy brow today okay to clean up under my brows i'm going to be using the fenty beauty concealer and this one is in the shade 380 and we're just going to go in and swipe under those brows and then go in and clean it up okay i'm also going to be using this as a base so i'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over and then pat it out Make it nice and even and all of that good stuff. Like, I'm really excited about this hair. She is curling up now that she's drying on her own. She's getting more curly. <sighs> okay, I kid you not, today's look is gonna be super, super simple. I just got an idea that I wanna do. So for our eyeshadow, we're gonna apply this all over the lid. This is the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder in Honey. Honey, take all my money. With her, I am literally just going to take a small cotton thingy not cotton thing powder puff and just pat it all throughout the whole entire thing just pat it instead of using a brush like this is just a lot quicker you know especially for what I'm gonna do 
Okay, so this is gonna take some concentrating on my part. <laughs> so, but first I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place concealer. I'm gonna take some out and put it on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use my little liner brush here and I'm gonna kind of create the lines for what I'm trying to do. So let's go ahead and start to do that. And the concealer I'm going to be using is 13. I have 12 and I have 13. So I'm gonna be using 13, which is the lighter one. Okay, so in order to be successful at this, I'm gonna go in and back curl my lashes because they're in the way. Okay, so I have some of the concealer on the back of my hand and what I'm gonna do is start to map out the shape that I want because we're gonna be applying eyeshadow on top of this. So. <laughs> Okay, so for the tedious part, I'm kind of going to dot it so I can see what it is that I'm doing because, honey. <laughs> okay, I need to concentrate. Ooh, I need to see it and have fate. Okay, so now for the second stressful part, I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Play Saharan 2 palette, volume 2 palette, that's what that looks like. And I'm gonna be going into that middle shade, that burgundy shade, and with that, I'm gonna to start to fill in what we just did there. And hopefully I can have a steady hand and get this as clean and as nice as possible. The eyeliner isn't that bad, it's not 100% perfect. They ain't that bad. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this. This is stressful. I don't know why I decided to give myself such stress. <laughs> a black base would have been even better now that I think about it, but here we are. <laughs> we gotta keep going. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes off camera. I'm not gonna mention them because like I said, I don't own any that is black owned, but this look definitely needs some lashes, honey. So let's zoom out <laughs> so we can show out. Right. Okay, so for the fun part, the face. First, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Primer. This also acts as a moisturizer. This is the soft matte one. So um, today, as usual, I'm gonna be using a brush to apply this because I feel like it. Okay, so for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place foundation, and this is in uh, this is I Am Magic, their I Am Magic foundation in the shade Lagos. Okay, I'm just gonna go in and do the do. Whoop de whoop, shibbity boop boop boop. Okay, so for my first under eye concealer, I'm gonna go in with Black Opal's concealer in Rich Caramel, and this is their Total Coverage Concealing Foundation. It's a foundation. But it's so high coverage that I like it for this little step right here. So I kind of like when a cream is right here, just right here, nowhere else on my face. Like right here on my face is not gonna crease. So I'm safe, you know? Okay, on top of this, I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place Foundation uh, Concealers, and this is in 13 and 12. They don't have names, they're actually numbered. So uh, yeah. Okay, and I'm just gonna put this right on top of this. As a matter of fact, I think I'm only gonna use one because I really like this one. This one is number 12. And we're gonna skip 13. So while that is cooking, I am going to go in with Black Opal Suede Mocha to contour. I'm gonna do around here today. And our jawline, get under that chin. Also in this, I'm going to just one dot because this is so dark and so pigmented, just right here. That's enough, trust me. That might be too much. <laughs> 
Okay, so now that everything, all the creams are blended, it is time to set. So to set, I'm gonna go in with my black opal powder. I have been pinching on this. That's why you haven't seen it because it's the only one that I have left, but it is the only black owned pressed solid powder that I have. And this one is in medium light. It's so hard to find, like it's just sold out everywhere. But I need something a little bit more full coverage to put under my eyes more so than like, you know, regular loose powder, so. <laughs> It's a special occasion. This is a special occasion, so we gotta use it, okay? Oh, who this woman? Okay, so I wanna bake. I wanna give myself a little bit more brightness underneath there. So I'm gonna go in with Namiv and Kalahari. These are both by Juvia's Place. And I'm just gonna use this to bake, basically. You know what, I'm gonna just go in with Kalahari. Kalahari looks right. <laughs> So now it is time to bronzify because we need to catch Poppy's eyes. So I'm gonna be using Prime Beauty and this is their bronzer and this one is called Bronzyville. Okay, where's my bronzing brush? Jace. So we, we need to get into the swing of things, you know? So I'm gonna go in with that before I set my face just so it grabs on there and does what it's supposed to do. And she's safe enough to definitely carry under here cause she's not like, you know, she's a beautiful bronze type of color. Get under here because honey, <laughs> we wanna look slim. <laughs> okay, to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using Fenty's Nutmeg and we're gonna set everything in place and do the do. Okay, so while I still have some of that bake there, I'm gonna go into that burgundy eyeshadow in the middle once again, and with that, I'm gonna run that on my lower lash line, basically. Okay, so it's time to do my mascara, but before we do that, I'm gonna go in and kinda dust this in, buff it in, I should say, I don't know. And I'm using a cleaner brush than the one that I used before because that one has way too much powder trapped in it. Okay, so to contour my nose, <laughs> Let me find, do I need to cut my hair? Let me find out. To contour my nose, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Nutmeg. You know, I think it's gonna do a good job because I don't have a pressed powder, like how I love to use a pressed powder for this, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna do it. Girl. Okay, so for my, I am not gonna be doing out here, like I'm just over that. So for my nose, for my little glow, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Addiction Holy Glow Volume 2 palette. And I'm just gonna take the gold shade, that, that shade right there, and just very lightly and politely do the nose and the cupid's bow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's all the glow I need lately. I don't need out here to be, you know what I'm saying, shining. Okay, so for my little shoulder action right here, I'm not showing a whole lot of skin today. Yes, I love to cut up my t-shirts. That's, it's a Caribbean thing, trust me, <laughs> okay? I'm gonna be taking the Makeup Addiction Highlighter. This is their loose highlighter, and this one is bronzified, okay? And I am literally just going to spackle it. How'd it go? Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just gonna pause right here and let's style up this hair. And then we just need to put on blush and lips and we are done. I don't have a setting spray. I never bought the Fenty one. <laughs> so today we are not setting anything. Either way, I think it looks good, nice and matte. You see what I'm saying? Besides, give me 15 minutes and I'll be an oil ball, a grease ball. Okay, so for this hair, I'm going to create some baby hairs. If you don't like baby hairs, that's, listen, I don't know, I cannot help you cannot okay and today I definitely feel like it's a nose ring type of day now I don't have a standard nose ring <laughs> I used to have one but I don't have it anymore and it's healed so and I like to sleep without it so I'm just gonna use a small earring basically Ooh, is this one too big should I put a smaller one or should we go with this one let's go with this one why not <laughs> Shot me through the heart, casting dice and roulettes. The game was set right from the start. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna know, I don't want it anymore. I don't wanna go. Okay, so while we wait for this to dry, let's go ahead and do our foundation. <laughs> I am feeling myself today, honey. Let me tell you something. 
I'm liking everything that's going on here today. Yes. For my blush, I'm going to be using Bella Blush by Julius Place. Okay. You guys already know this is my fave. One of my fave. Girl. So we went a little overboard with the, br the blush, but I am liking it. I'm feeling it. Let's go. <laughs> we look alive. Okay. Let's do these lips, boo. Let's do these lips. So for my lips, I'm going to be lining with the Fenty Beauty liquid lipstick and this is on veil you got to shake it up because it settles but it's so good <laughs> so good so this is going to act as my liner today and for my lip color i'm going to be using the juvia's place royalty lip gloss this is literally a lipstick and a lip gloss it is so pigmented it smells good it goes on good it's everything okay as much as i would love to set my face i don't have a setting spray so and i think that this has been long enough for this so let's finish up styling this hair and see everything, how it's looking. Okay guys, so that is it for this tutorial, this video, this get ready with me, hair, makeup, and all of that good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do like this hair. I think I did a pretty good job. I think I did a pretty good job. Tell me how you think I did, okay? Make sure you check out Reshine Hair. All the information for this unit will be down in the description box. If it is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe, join the family, come on in. We are a happy bunch and we like to keep it clean inside here. You know what I'm saying? Thumbs up the video. If you like the video, it helps YouTube know that, hey, whenever this person upload, I really, really like her stuff. When you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you do get notified whenever I do upload a video. And make sure you're following me on all of my social media platforms, which is Instagram, Snapchat, no which is Instagram, okay? Let's just keep it real, okay? I'm sticking to Instagram and that is that. We have YouTube, we have Instagram, that's all I need. You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, share the video because sharing is caring and until the next video, take care of yourselves. <laughs> take care of yourselves and I will see you guys really, really soon on the next one. Don't wanna know, but I keep coming back.